Hey guys, Manix Golfer, and today we're going to do the 2013 What's in the Bag video. Let's start it up with the wedges. I play the Titleist Vokey TVD wedges. Uh, this is a 60 degree wedge that's bent to 61 degrees. I noticed uh, it was a little close on my three quarter shots to a 56, so I, I decided to get it one degree weak and see if I can establish a little bit better gap there. Uh, I have MXG stamped on the back as well as a four leaf clover. It's kind of the theme of my golf clubs. All my wedges have dynamic gold tour issue X100s in them. I like the heavier shaft weight compared to the S400s I used to play. Here's the 56 degree wedge. And uh, if you guys have seen my uh, Titleist Vokey review video, it's got the same grind characteristics, so a little bit more balance with the 56. And then I have the 52 bent to a 51 degree. And that's been a great uh, gap wedge, approach wedge. Uh, leading up to the pitching wedge, so it's a good uh, balance there with all three wedges. Like 2012, I'm going to be playing the Mizuno MP59 for 2013. Uh, really like the uh, grind on these and the feel of the forged uh, face. I've noticed uh, some wear and tear, but not too bad after one season. And I have, as a shaft, the KBS Tour C Taper and Stiff Plus Flex, 125 grams. All those clubs are uh, white and black multi-compounds. Uh, the MP59s go from 3-iron, which you see here, to uh, pitching wedge. I still hit this 3-iron pretty well. And so there's no chance I'm replacing that with a hybrid. Uh, hybrids, I feel, are much less consistent for my particular golf swing. Which brings me to my next club, which is a new addition for 2013. It is the Rocket Blades Tour, and it's the 3-iron. Uh, this one I had bent 1 degree flat, so instead of the 60.5 degree lie, it's a 59 and a half, which is the same as my Mizuno 3 iron. Uh, better hits uh, with a flatter lie. I've noticed I uh, had some turf interaction issues when I was demoing this club. And I decided to put the same KBS 2 or C taper shaft in that iron. It, it's replacing my Titleist uh, 2 hybrid. And I decided to go with a driving iron instead of a two hybrid uh, just for more accuracy uh, my misses are less with that club the next club in the bag is the Titleist 913 D3 driver nine and a half uh, you guys have seen my reviews on this club and uh, this has definitely been one that I've gained more and more confidence with I did end up getting the weight set. I can show you guys that at the end of the video. Uh, what I noticed is uh, I didn't notice as big of a difference in launch characteristics as I expected, but the swing weight characteristics do change drastically when you change out those weights. Set at a D4, which is the neutral setting for Titleist. And as far as the shaft that I game most of the time, I have the Matori Speeder Tour spec 6.2 X flex, and uh, that's the best shaft for my swing according to the launch characteristics. So, as for the putter, this one is no surprise, it's not going to change. Uh, I spent a lot of money on it uh, to get it custom, and that's the Scotty Cameron Newport 2 that you guys have seen. If you've seen my custom shop putter video, it's got the four leaf clover stamped on the inside and on the outside MXG and Skip, Skip's my name and I, 
I like the feel of the Scotty Camerons. Um, I have tried a couple 2013 putters just for fun, and I would recommend the new Odyssey. Uh, I believe the Versa is a good option. I don't like the alignment lines, but the inserts, top notch. Uh, the, they also have a uh, pro version that's coming out that looks a little bit more normal that I would recommend you guys demo if you're in the market for a new putter. Changed up the towel. It's a Bob Vokey towel. Also the shoes, I switched between the Audi Zero and the XPS One. The Zero is more for longer courses with a lot of walking. You guys will also notice I'm using a 14 divider stand bag Titleist. It's the lightweight bag, not the other one. Uh, this one has the backpack straps and so I plan on walking a lot more this season than in past seasons. I do have uh, the uh, tour bag shown in the background there and that's more for advertising my channel and not for tournament play that only requires walking. Still playing the Strixon Z-Star Tour Yellows and uh, Titleist Players Glove. Those have been the two best options as far as ball and glove that I found. I have been testing a lot of the new 2013 golf balls. None of them, none of the pro models. I mean, Titleist Pro V1, the Nike 20XI, and Taylor Made Lethal. Now, they're all good ball options, but they're not. Uh, they just don't quite have the same feel that I'm looking for, and it's tough to change a ball that's been successful for me. Uh, so during this hybrid, two hybrid switch out, I decided to uh, experiment around with a five wood, and I do believe I would be putting the five wood in the bag considering a couple uh, courses, different options where I'd use a little bit more from the tee box. Uh, this is the 18 degree five wood Ping I-20. Tungsten weights in back, and I've demoed a lot of fairway woods uh, last year and this year, and so this was the one that I liked the launch characteristics the most in the five wood. It's a little bit lower launching fairway wood. I put the 83 gram extra stiff uh, Miyazaki Kusala Black, or actually this is Kusala Indigo, and uh, they they do a bending torque. Uh, Thing where it, it shows the different four sections of the shaft and, and what the rating is at each section. Uh, this one's balanced at all sevens, which gives me a little bit higher launch than maybe a, a stiffer shaft would, but also uh, a lot of control at sevens at all points. Some other things to mention. Um, I talked about how the R11 would be a good choice as a low launch, low spin. Well, in order to keep the 913 consistent in my bag this year, I got the Miyazaki Kusala Black uh, 61X shaft. Um, all my clubs have the New Decade Multi Compound. Depending on which one I'm using, it's either red, blue, or black. Most of them are black, but the blue and red ones go with. Uh, their shaft option. Uh, alignment rods and then I got this thing called the Orange Whip. It's some more of a tempo training device and also something that I use to get loosened up before a round of golf. So those are other things that are in my bag. Alright I did want to show you guys the weight kit that came with the 913. It's got a 2, 5, 7, 9, and 14 gram kit. Uh, if you're not good at Remembering colors, it is written on the back there. So there's the 9 gram, which is their standard one in the red. Uh, so really the difference was not the launch characteristics as much as I thought. Putting weight in the back portion of a club, you know, make it twist less and make it launch higher. That's not as true in my testing as I thought it would be. So rather it's the swing weight that really changes. Uh, what I notice is that the the two gram makes the club feel really really light and almost feel tinny on misses, and the fourteen gram will make it feel like you're using the heaviest shaft you've ever used. Uh, but the you know the launch doesn't change and 
it's anything else that you would find with a heavier shaft, uh, maybe slowing your tempo down, stuff like that. So if you're if you're somebody who tinkers around with weights and and clubs and adjustments, uh, maybe that'd be an option for you. But for most people, I don't see this to be a good uh, value for the money. All right, guys, that's my in the bag. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Comment, rate, subscribe.